Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Wednesday, so you know we're, we're winging, winging it. it. <laughs> Today though, oh, wow. this is a in, an incredibly special winging it. We are honored yes. to have Mr. Bob Tiffin of Tiffin Motorhomes with us today. Thank you so much, Mr. Tiffin, for joining us. Yeah, he's not just the owner of Tiffin Motorhomes. He's the founder of <laughs> Tiffin Motorhomes. <laughs> so we're gonna talk to him about his business in Red Bay, Alabama, his hometown, and anything else he wants to talk about on today's Winging It. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so I know you know the rules of winging it, but in case you're new, we set the timer on my phone for 15 minutes. We talk about the topic, have a conversation. When things, when the timer goes off, we try to wrap things up. It's completely unscripted, unedited. You get what you get. So 10, 15 minutes since it's with friends on the uh, clock here, we're winging we're it. We're winging it. <laughs> <laughs> so Bob, tell us, I mean, my gosh, when did you get started and how did you come about starting an RV company? <laughs> well, in 1972 is when we started, but before that we had two RV companies in Red Bay. One was Commodore Corporation, a big company that was in from Indiana, and we had a, a smaller company called Sunliner that was, that was here in this area, and they both left and left a lot of good trained employees. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so uh, I told my dad we had the lumber yard. Daddy started in 1941 here in Red Bay in general store, and I grew up in that. And in the late 50s, I started working there. In 57, I worked there. In 57, 58, and 59 and 60, I worked there in the summers. And then I worked started working full time in 1961 for my dad. And we sold them a lot of stuff. You're always running out of stuff. Oh, yeah. with it. I'll tell you, it's always a hassle to keep it. <laughs> Even all the people in line to get the stuff at the right time to it's where, it, where it goes to be. Right. And so <clears throat> I told Dad, I said, it would be a good business for us to be in if, we, if someone was running it. Mm. He said, well, we just got that Cottonmore house built. Why don't you go down there and start in it? I said, okay. So I knew to hire. And I hired a plant manager and, and, uh, <clears throat> and a purchasing agent. and three or four good supervisors. And so we started, that's how we got going. And right off the bat, we started building one unit a day. We started building one unit a day, January the 2nd of 1973. Wow, so that is, do the math, what, 47 years ago? Yes sir, that's right, 47 years ago. Wow, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. That is Mike, awesome. That's a long time. And, and for y'all that don't know, I mean, Bob Tiffin is, he, he has come up with a lot of the stuff that you see on motorhomes today, just out of necessity. They've invented those things. I mean, slide outs, for instance. Um, we started slide outs in our slide outs in 1992, but Newmar started the slide outs in 91. And oh, wow. But I knew when I saw my first slide out, I said, uh, it was on Newmar, I said, we, gotta, we have to have slide outs. So, I saw that motor home in the morning, and that afternoon we started building a slide out. <laughs> okay, that's what you that's what you can do when you're a family-owned company. You can make that decision like that, and it happens. And I I understand there's a very interesting story about the TVs on the outside of the RVs. Your grandson told me about it. Yeah, we uh, we would always go down to Legion Field the football games, watch Alabama play football, and so. Everybody would be bringing their two things they would bring out of the, the motorhome. They'd bring out their barbecue grill and set it up, and they would bring their TV and set it on the table and, and watch television. And I said, well, you know, we ought to figure out how to put those in the motorhome. So we built a box, you know, and put in the television. We put it, put it on slide so it would slide out. And then right down below that, over to the side, we put a barbecue grill. And we did the same thing. It was a, it was a Amigo barbecue grill, a little bitty fella about 22 inches wide. It was made down at El Paso. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Made in Texas. There yeah. You go. <laughs> and so we, we started putting in a ball. That was a big hit. I'm telling you, we sold televisions in the out, outside and, and 
And now we have four televisions, and, and most every motor home built, we got three inside and one outside. And that well, is it's true. It's crazy. Thirty-one and a half feet motor home is the one we have. The Tiffin Breeze. It's his smallest motor home he makes, and we have four TVs. <laughs> well, everybody wants a TV wherever they are. That's you're right. Uh, you know, you're right. And so that's the way it is in homes, you know. It, I've got four televisions at the house. <laughs> <laughs> so since that's our home, might as well take it with yeah. us. <laughs> yeah. And, and now the breeze that we have, I understand and I've read uh, from your website that you came up with the breeze so your wife could drive the motor home. Isn't that right? Well, we wanted something smaller that she would feel more comfortable driving. And so actually we started with a 28 footer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, it was a little, it, it was a little, uh, a little different driving it than it was a bigger motor home and so she she enjoyed it but it was just a little bit tricky because of the short wheelbase so mm -hmm. we stretched it out we we stretched it out to a 31 footer and a 32 footer and now we're building the 33 and oh they handle like a dream independent front suspension it's got the same suspension on it that our Lego bus has in front i mean it drives great yeah well it we really can does. attest it 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 does it drives like a dream we've we, got about seventeen thousand miles on ours okay, now wow. we're loving it yeah <laughs> yeah we're loving it. it's just a 17. Yeah. so also y'all y'all do like you like rv as well i mean it's not just that you manufacture them i mean you are an rv as well Yes, uh, I guess the last the last seven years out of eight years we have stayed uh, in the summertime. Mm -hmm. You know, the three months in the summertime we've been usually in Sisters, Oregon. Okay. And we stay there at a little campground between Ben and Sisters, and we stay about twenty one nights, twenty two nights during those three during those three weeks, depending on how it works out. And Judy goes to the quilt show, and I stay at the motor home, and and. Uh, we have a dealer there called Beaver Coat Sales, and I go down there and work most of the time with him, and I, that's enjoyable. We enjoy that. The Central Oregon is is really nice in the summertime. The days are about seventy five degrees, and it's about fifty five at night. Oh, perfect! And it, it never, I have never been out there when it rains. I don't recognize it. Must <laughs> well, they bound to get rain sometime or snow or something? <laughs> My God, yeah, we've heard that about Oregon, though. We've heard, everybody's told us that's a must-visit must, must visit destination for yeah, our viewers. It's really nice, and if you like the water, you know, you can go over on the coast, and they have it over there, but Florence and other, other Newport and all the, the, the towns up and down the up and down the coast over there, but we'd like it. We'd like the center, the central part of the state. It's not too far from Redmond. The FMCA has had four or five rallies at mm -hmm. Redmond before, mm -hmm. and I've been out there to those. And, that's sort of, that is sort of where we got introduced to it, but the climate's great. Yeah. I highly recommend it. Now, something relatively new here for Tiffin is they used to just make motorhomes, right? Y'all used to just manufacture motorhomes, but now you're manufacturing what, fifth wheels and class, and class seats. Yeah. We built the fifth wheels at Burnsville. My oldest grandson and his dad walked in one day and, and uh, he said, Papa Bob, we want to build fifth wheels. I said, you do? <laughs> <laughs> he said, yes. He said, we, we want to build fifth wheels. I said, well, have you got your building? He said, no. <laughs> and I said, well, you, you'll have to have a place to build them. So him and his dad, his, his daddy's van, they got to looking around and they did. They found a nice place over in Burnsville, Mississippi uh, that, was, that was vacant. Oh, okay. And uh, they started building fifth wheels over there four or five years ago. And, and uh, they're doing a great job. They built three models of the Lano, the Pinecrest, and the, and the Beacon. Okay. And the Beacon is a whole lot like our Allegro bus. It's got full body paint on it. And, oh, I mean, oh wow. Hardwood really yeah. cabinets. I mean, it's really a nice unit. And we also wanted to build a Class C's, so we started building the Class C's. My oldest son, Tim, is building Class C's over at, Bur at, uh, at Winfield, Alabama, which is about 40 miles southeast of here, between here and Birmingham. They're doing a great job. It, uh, it's it's a they built a a, a small one, mm -hmm. you know, a thirty four and a thirty five footer, mm -hmm. and it's got the Mercedes chassis, and they built several motorhomes for Cruise America, you know the big rental company. Oh sure, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. They built about two hundred of those for them recently. Oh wow, okay. you they, see those all over the place. They've got a real nice crew over there at Winfield, and they've got about two hundred and some people working over there, maybe two fifty. There's about two hundred fifty people working at the fifth wheel plant as well. So we've spread out and. When in most of the segments, we're not building any uh, bumper pull mm -hmm. towables, but just, you know, just the big fifth wheels. And they're both doing a great job. 
That's awesome. And then you've, of course, got your, your diesel pusher Class A's and your gas Class A's that yeah, are all we, manufactured here in here, Red Bay. We, yeah, we've got five product lines we built here. We've got the Zephyr and the Legro Bus and, and the Phaeton and the Legro Red and the, the Legro Gas and the Breeze that you've got. Yeah. And I tell you what, if you get a chance to come to Red Bay and take the tour, it will blow you away. Yeah, it's the most unbelievable. We've taken tours at other manufacturers. We've taken mm -hmm. Newmar's tour. We've taken the tour, the the Thor. Mm -hmm. uh, Thor Diesel. Thor Winnebago, Diesel. Winnebago. And Regency RV in Fort Worth. Yeah, but here, the access is unbelievable. I mean, you're walking amongst the workers that are there working. Uh, you can look at whatever you want to see. I mean, it's unbelievable. And the... These people are as productive as I've ever seen. I mean, they are running around. But you know what? So many people, too, smiling and waving oh, you know, yeah. as we pass by. I even yeah. had the camera, by the way, uh, Sunday's video is going to have uh, the tour we took. <laughs> so you'll see that. But, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable your, the access you give people. It's, it reminds me, they're very transparent. A company that's very transparent, they don't have anything to hide. Yes, our tour directors here are real pros. Mm. You know, we got some ladies and a couple of men that have been doing it a long, long time, and, and you know, there will be questions come up mm -hmm. as they go through the tour. Well, they may not know the answer, but they will double back and find the answer. And of course, they'll they'll talk about that at, when they're doing their introduction to the to the guide and to the tour, and that makes a big difference having someone that really knows the product. It's true, and you could tell that. And not only did they know the product, they were a great source of information for things in Red Bay and yeah. things to do while you're here, and yeah. you know other places to visit. We found out a lot more that. things that we've got to do. I mean, there there's there's more to Red Bay in this area than Tiffin. I mean, there are there's a lot of other fun things. Yeah, but we've, we've got the second largest pet food company in the United States here. And see, I never knew that yeah, until I got here. Yeah, they're a big outfit. I think they're all over the place. Of uh, you don't see it, but they're out there. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just amazing. And it's a crazy to me to this town, little town of Red Bay, Alabama, that. There's a lot of bu little businesses in this town, but so many of them, if they aren't directly related to y'all, they're indirectly related to Tiffin uh, Motorhomes because they they may have cabinet shops, you know, that they do cabinets for some of your customers. Uh, and, and it's unbelievable how many lives that you've helped around here in this community. I mean. It's a, it's a community effort. We have uh, five different RV shops that work on our older motorhomes that we built, you know, years ago and that's a real blessing. If you if you have one of our motorhomes of any age, mm -hmm. Red Bay is where to come to get it. It, de it definitely is. Because people don't understand the biggest holdback on getting things repaired is the parts. You're right. And we have all the parts here. So Red Bay is a place to come. We've got five independent shops here in town plus three big body shops that do a great job so if you got one of our motorhomes that's old if it's a, a 10 or a 9 or 8 whatever it is mm -hmm. this is a place to come i absolutely agree and we've met so many people just in the few days that we've been here uh we came because all the other tiffin owners we talked to well we'd always wanted to take the tour yeah. and visit but all the tiffin owners said you got to go to red bay you got to go to the mothership yeah. that's yeah. what they call it you know and so mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we knew we've had the RV now for a couple years and we've lived in it now for about a year and a half. And so, you know, there was a few things that we wanted to kind of look at or even our annual maintenance. We found out this was a great place to come uh, for Bay Diesel and some of the other uh, service providers here in the area. So we decided, you know what, we're going to make the trip out there. And I think this is going to be an annual thing for us because the experience so far has been fantastic. Fantastic. And yeah. It Here's the thing, if you're a full-time RVer, one thing you worry about is if you need service on something, you may have to leave your motorhome mm -hmm. at a regular shop and then you have to stay in a motel. Well, the way they do it here is you just take your RV to the shop, they work on it for the day, you come pick it back up and all the campgrounds here are basically the same. Almost every one of them are twenty-five dollars a night. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's very affordable. <laughs> and guess what? You get to meet a lot of neat people too. Oh, 
Yeah, you know, the campers are some of the best folks, aren't they? They really oh, are. Oh, that's oh, that's one of our favorite things about it. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, and and if you're less than a year old, correct, you can yeah. stay here at sure. the at the Tiffin Service Center. That's right. And we were over there. We've got some friends that are over there. Yeah. So we stopped in to visit them when we went to the store the other day because they have a parts store right uh -huh. there. And I mean, it was like a whole community in itself. Everybody was just out <laughs> visiting. And it was unbelievable. It was great. You know, we met so many folks. Chairs. And we're from the Houston area originally. And we met a couple folks there that were from Houston. Yeah. You know, so I mean, people come from all over the country to come to Red Bay. I mean, we met a guy today at the tour from Seattle. Mm -hmm. He's all the way here. Yeah, about as far as you can go. That's about it. As, That's about right. as far as you can go. So, That's I mean, right. it is amazing that people come from everywhere. So, I wanted to ask you now. You've got three generations, is that correct, of the yes, Tiffin family now involved yes. in the business? Mm -hmm. uh, and, of course, you worked with your father before that. What's it like? We, we've had a family business for years ourselves, but being multi-generational like that, what's that like? Well, you know, it's a, it's a real blessing because, you know, you can count on your family mm. to help you. And so I, we, I couldn't hardly, I could have not done what we've done without you know, the help of Tim and Van and Lex, you know, just couldn't, could never made it. But they've done a tremendous job for us, mm -hmm. sure have. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, don't feel like you need to be cut yeah, off. Yeah, no. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're going to extend it a little bit because this is a special honor. I mean, it really is. Um, yeah, we, you're such a family thing to me, it has to be special. I mean, you get to spend time with your grandkids, and I'm sure they have a work ethic that's just unbelievable. Well, they do, and they always have the interests of our of our owners and interests of our company at heart. So we we have Trent having run the, the the Wayfair plant in Winfield with his with his dad Tim, mm -hmm. and then Brock is here with me and, and the big plant here. And then my grandson Lee is running the fifth uh, the fifth little plant in Burnsville. And of course I've got Van here with me and Lex. Mm -hmm. And that's a, you know that there's seven of us all together, and we just work together every day. Whatever we need, whatever we need, you know, whoever we need to talk to, so it's always available. Your wife used to be a part of it as well. Yeah, that's too. Judy's desk right there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't been here in a while. We we moved to we moved to Florence in '96. All the kids moved up there. They all moved to Coffer County. Tim and Van did, and so I. I saw right away, you know, the little the, the little fellows started coming, mm. and so I wanted them to go up and and be close to them. Right. So we moved up to the next county. We moved to Florence, which is one county. Uh, there's four counties up there: Florence, Sheffield, Tuscumbia, and Muscle Shoals that are right together. And and three of them are on the this side of the river, and and Florence is on the other side. And so we moved up there. We wanted to go to Florence, so that's where we did. And and but I got to see some of the grandkids every Sunday evening after church. That's great. And we did that till they till they got out of high school. That's priceless. And it is, yes, and I, 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 we cherish those you know, those times together with the grandkids that, comes, that could come see us. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> and you know, uh, I know in your video that we watched uh, just prior to the tour, one of the things that really uh, struck me, because it's something we believe too, is doing business with family companies. You know, that's something we always try to do because I always feel like, I think you said uh, something to the effect of, and I'm, I, I'm not going to get it exactly right, please forgive me, mm -hmm. but uh, basically family businesses are run with heart. And I think that's definitely true here, you know, not only in Tiffin, not, a, not just the Tiffin family, but I feel like you've built a bigger family here with all of your employees, all the staff that we've met so far and uh, even the customers that we've met so far that have come from all over to come back to the mothership of Red Bay, Alabama. Yeah. Uh, and the whole, everybody we've met in Red Bay so far. Well, just, um, has just, just been a phenomenal Just experience. like this. Today, we took the tour. I mean, and, and Bob's met us before. He doesn't really, he didn't really know us. He's met us before. We just came in like, like anybody could have from the tour. Came right in and asked, can we, see Bob Tiffin? And yes, we walked right in <laughs> and got to meet the founder of this company. And I'd challenge you to do that with any other uh, RV manufacturer. I don't think it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is very available and I, I really appreciate that. And it, 
everybody out there that we talk to, it means a lot to them too. It really does. They know that you have their back. Well, we're going to we're going to keep that way uh, a real open company mm -hmm. to try to help our customers. That's what it's all about. But, you know, this motorhome business is really a helping business. You know, everybody that has a motorhome needs some help sometime. You're right. <laughs> That's right. So you just have to do the best you can and try to help. And we've got a 200 people in the service department. They understand that too. Mm. And so that's that's what it's all about. We're excited to get to spend some time here, and we're going to show you in future videos also, you know, what it's like when you come for service. Yeah. And you spend some time in the area, some things you might want to see and do. Um, because like I said, it's been on our bucket list for a long time yep. to come out and visit Red Bay, Alabama. And we so much appreciate everything that you're doing here. Big reason of why we bought our Tiff and Breeze to live in, our 31 and a half foot diesel yeah, pusher, yeah. is because of this man right it here. It absolutely is. And everything is. that you, the reputation that you have built over the years. And so uh, we really thank you so much for all that you do for the RVing world. Well, thank you for your business. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And uh, we'll put links also in the description for Tiff and Motorhomes. Yeah. And also, uh, it, so you can also find out not only about their Ace, but also their Van Lee fifth wheels and their Wayfarer Class C's if you'd yeah. like to get more information. And uh, we just so much appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. You had to love this video. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> when you meet someone like this in the RV, I mean, I feel like a little kid in a candy store right now. <laughs> And uh, we'll see y'all on Sunday. Yeah. Until then, thanks for joining us. Safe travels. And happy camping. Bye. Bye. <laughs>